Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It's a three to the four to the zero to the four to the third root of 27th root of 64th root of 81. To the power of the square root of four to the power of the 24 minus the sum from n equals one to six of nth root of 81. This is day 12 of our algebra calendar. For the month of February, we're gonna solve 28 algebra problems. There's some pretty cool looking ones here. And if you wanna try this one, pause it right now because I'm gonna solve it in three two, one. So where do we even start? Let's go from left to right. Let's start with this right here. This is a power tower. It's three to the four to the zero to the four to the three. A power tower like A to the B to the C, that is not the same thing as A to the B whole thing to the C. If you ever have A to the B whole thing to the C, you multiply the exponents. But in a power tower, which is A to the B to the C, you don't multiply the exponents. The correct way you handle this a to the b to the c is you do b to the c first and then do a to that power. So for example, three to the four to the zero to the four to the three, you would do the four to the three first, then zero to that, then four to that, then three to that. So this is the correct way to do power towers. You don't end up just multiplying. And let's evaluate this one. First, we're gonna focus on the four to the three and that'll give us 64. And then we do zero to the 64, which is zero, and then we do the four to the zero, which is one, and then three to the one is equal to three. So this whole thing is equal to three. And that means this whole thing is equal to three. Now we know that this is a cube root of 27 and cube root of 27 is equal to three. And that's because three times three times three is 27. So this whole thing is gonna change into three. Now we can do the cube root of 64. Cube root of 64 is equal to four and that's because four times four times four is 64. So this whole thing will change into four. Now we get to do the fourth root of 81. This ends up being three because three times three times three times three is equal to 81. So the fourth root of 81 is gonna change into three. Now let's smush everything together and we have another power tower going on on this side. So we gotta evaluate this top part first. In order to do that, we have to find out the index of the root. And in order to do this, we have to figure out the sum. So we gotta figure out the sum from n equals one to six of n. Well, it's a sum, so that means we're gonna add a bunch of stuff together. For the first term, we plug this one in for the n, that'll give us one. And then for the next term, we plug in the next number, which is two in for the n, which is two. And then we're gonna plug in the next number, which is three, and the next number, which is four, and then five. And then when we get to the top, after we plug it in, we're done. We stop when we get to this number. And then one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six is equal to 21. So this sum is equal to 21. And now we can do the whole parentheses, 24 minus 21 is three. So we have the cube root of 81. We can rewrite the cube root of 81 as the cube root of 27 times three. And then we can give each of these their own cube root. And the cube root of 27 is equal to three. So this whole thing, cube root of 81, is equal to three cube root of three. And let's update that up here. And now we can evaluate this. This square root of four, we can change that into a two, and we end up with two to the power of three cube root of three. Well, three cube root of three means the same thing as three times the cube root of three. So using these notes, we can rewrite this as two to the three whole thing to the cube root of three. And two to the three is equal to eight. So this whole thing simplifies into eight to the cube root of three. And now we have a power tower three to the eight to the cube root of three. I do not think we can simplify this anymore. This is the answer to our question. And to find an approximate value, we can evaluate from the top down. The cube root of three is approximately 1.44. And then eight to the 1.44 is approximately 20.07. And three to the power of 20.07 is approximately 3,752,869,389. Nice so it ends up being approximately 3.75 billion. These are the answers to our question. Let's put boxes around them. How exciting. And here's tomorrow's problem. We're evaluating seven triple factorial over eight double factorial times five factorial. This looks like it'll be a fun one. How exciting.